Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. I've done several videos about Linux Mint, but there is one thing I didn't talk about. Now, Linux Mint has three flavors. There is the Cinnamon Desktop, the Mate Desktop, and the XFCE Desktop. But there is also a fourth Linux Mint available to download and use, and it's LMDE. And LMDE is based on Debian. The other three uh, Linux Mint flavors, they are based on Ubuntu. And several years ago, a uh, Linux Mint team made a version of uh, their distribution, which bypasses Ubuntu, and it's totally based on Debian. The reason why they did this is that they are experimenting that perhaps one day Ubuntu might be gone or they might lose their connection to Ubuntu and uh, they want to be able to keep their distribution going. Now there are a lot of people out there in the Linux world that prefer the Linux Mint version of LMDE. I have uh, LMDE installed on a virtual machine and I haven't updated it for a little bit so let's go to it. So this is my version of Linux Mint LMDE and I haven't updated it for a little while. So first of all, I'm going to open up a uh, web browser. So let's go to Firefox and open it up and let's go to the Linux Mint homepage. So as I was saying, if you hit the download button, they have the Linux Mint 21.1, .1, which is the recommended one. That's the one that just came out. The ISO just came out a week or so ago. It's a brand new uh, version of the Linux Mint. I did a video about that the other day. And most of the uh, Linux YouTubers are doing videos about that. Now that ISO for that program, which is Linux Mint based on Ubuntu, which has the three flavors, the Cinnamon Desktop, the Mate Desktop, and the XFCE Desktop, they come out with a new ISO twice a year. But there's also this version, LMDE, and right now we're on LMDE 5. Now LMDE, like I mentioned, is totally based on Debian. It bypasses Ubuntu, and this version, I think they're coming out with a new ISO once every two years, but it gets updates. And the beautiful thing about it, the updates that their flagship Linux Mint based on Ubuntu gets from the new ISOs, they're backported into the LMD5. So if you have LMD5 running on your system and you do an update, it's going to get all the new updates that were added into the new ISO from Linux Mint 21.1. So let's close uh, this down. And, oh, and also just to mention, you could go to this LMD, click it on, and I did click it on a moment ago, but click it on again and it's going to explain what it is. It's an alternative to Ubuntu Debian Edition. And everything about it is beautiful. It's the same as the other Linux Mint but it bypasses Ubuntu. So I'm going to close this down. So this is a virtual machine of Linux Mint Debian. And I installed it uh, several months ago. I'm just going to show you around. It's the same thing. You wouldn't know the difference. Uh, here I have Brave Browser. I have Firefox. Here's my system settings. Here is a uh, software manager. Everything looks the same. I have my weather app installed like I like to do and so forth. So let's do an update so we can install the new features from the new ISO that just came out for the flagship Linux Mint. This time, I'm not going to do an update in the uh, terminal. I'm going to do an update in the software manager, in the GUI. So 
So I'm going to click on this icon. It's saying my system is up to date. Let's just refresh it. Checking for packages. So it's saying a new version of the update manager is available. So I'm going to click it on. It's going to ask me for my password and it's downloading the new update manager. And then it's going to tell me how many updates there are. I'll pause the video while I'm doing the updates. So let's just make that large screen. It's telling me there's 63 updates selected. So I'm going to click on the updates and pause the video and come back when it's updated. I'm going to have to do a reboot. And then I'm going to show you how all the new features from the brand new Linux Mint have been updated and installed in this Linux Mint Debian edition. So just before I pause the video, let's do the update. Let's say OK. Continue. I'm going to put my password in and it's downloading the packages. So my guess that this is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm going to have to reboot the system. So when it's done, I'm going to come back and show you how this Debian version received all the updates and modifications that the brand new Linux Mint ISO came out with. So I'll be back. So the update is finished. But the thing I like about the Linux Mint GUI is when you update in the Linux Mint GUI, it tells you when you have to reboot and it's telling us a reboot is required. So I'm going to click on the um, start icon. I'm going to hit here, restart. And it's asking me for my password and we're logged into our new system. Oh, there is still one more update we have to do. Uh, so this one's going to be really fast. It's going to ask me for my password. It's just going to, it's just update. There we go. So the system is up to date. So this is Linux Mint Debian. As you can see, the icons changed. It has the brand new icons now. Let's go to our file manager. Look how beautiful that looks. So everything that was available from the new ISO for the mainstream Linux Mint has been backported and updated into the Linux Mint Debian edition, LMDE5. So, Look how beautiful these icons are. Everything is here. Now you might think, well, what's with the wallpaper? Well, that's just uh, a wallpaper, a Linux Mint wallpaper that I like. It's an old wallpaper, but all the new wallpapers are in here. So we can uh, go up here. We have the Linux Mint Bright Lime. We have, look at all these beautiful wallpapers. Past Linux Mint updates. Hmm. I like that. That's kind of nice. Eh? Let's see what it looks like. And as you can see, we have the new uh, pointer for your mouse, the more modern looking one. So this is beautiful. I think that the uh, Linux Mint team did a wonderful job on this. And I appreciate the fact that they backported all their brand new updates from the new ISO into the Linux Mint Debian edition. And I think it's a strong, stable, sturdy edition. And I, to tell you the truth, I wish... Uh, the Linux Mint team would spend more time on their Debian edition than they do on the Ubuntu. And I wish that they would make their Debian edition the principal edition that they work on. So, in this video, I talked about the Linux Mint Debian edition and explained the difference between that and the flagship Linux Mint that's based on Ubuntu. And I showed how to update it to get all the brand new packages from the mainstream Linux Mint Ubuntu into your Linux Mint Debian. 
and I think it's beautiful. I think the Mint team did a wonderful job on it. So if you enjoyed the video, please like it. And I would appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching my video. I am the Linux Mensch.